Displaced from their ancestral land by insurgents in 2012, this informal camp in Durumi shelters about 2,700 internally displaced persons from the northeast, including women and children. It is one of the three camps in Abuja where an estimated 5,000 internally displaced persons from the northeast are seeking refuge in these makeshift tents. Ten years after they fled their homes because of insecurity, officials say they feel abandoned by the government. If you step out of this reception ground, you see the type of accommodation. It has no windows. It's cement bags knitted together and so on. The commission set up over 30 years ago called the National Commission for Refugees, Migrants and IDPs as if it doesn't exist. Feeding, 99.95% of what we eat comes from individuals and NGO. Dozens of makeshift tents serve as shelter for the estimated 5,000 IDPs across the three camps in Abuja under very poor conditions. The faces here tell the story of a people in dire need of help. However, neither the lack of basic infrastructure no food is the priority for most parents in these camps. Insecurity, including the kidnapping of the children, is now a major source of concern. Even here in this camp, we experience security challenges. I think we've been robbed twice here. Like Kuchigoro camp, they have been robbed twice too. Even killing involved. Three days ago, they kidnapped one of our, they carry away one of our child in Kuchigoro near Karmajiji. I think we lost about nine children now. Some people just come to come like the way they came for intervention like this. We lost two kids tomorrow. We don't know where they are. Three days ago now we lost one in Karmajiji. They adopted Tango around 6 p.m. in the evening. So even Abuja here were not safe. Our children here were not safe. There are about 700 children in the three IDP camps in Abuja who apart from being cut off from education and other necessities of life, and now becoming endangered species owing to the activities of kidnappers.